welcome to a new ish kind of video on the channel um, I have had several of you fine kittens to ask for me to do cooking videos or do recipe videos um, bro gra graciously <laughs> volunteered his kitchen and so here you go um, today I will be making turkey sliders um, with ground turkey um, the onion soup mix that you get from the Dollar Tree the um, mayonnaise you can get from the Dollar Tree the little slider buns you can also probably get them at the Dollar Tree I know other Dollar Trees don't carry those as much as that's kind of a basis on each Dollar Tree mine does get day old bread and I can pick sliders or these little dinner rolls that I made the sliders on at my local Dollar Tree the only thing that I used in this recipe that you probably couldn't get at Dollar Tree is the ground turkey and the actual cheddar cheese but you could use the, the cheese that you got at the Dollar Tree if you wanted to and the only thing you would have to pick up at another store other than the Dollar Tree would be the ground turkey um, but anyway if you want to see how to make turkey sliders that taste just like crystal burgers please stay tuned Okay, I am browning the turkey and mixing it with the French onion soup mix from the Dollar Tree. Um, you have to brown, do this until the turkey is completely brown. And I really should have browned the turkey before I put the onion mix in because it made me, the meat look brown before it really was. But I was trying to speed it the process up because I was filming it but as you see it is getting brown and you I'm thoroughly mixing the onion mix in with it so I will check back with you when the meat is completely cooked now the meat is getting nice and brown I'm letting it saute with the flavor of the onion mix um, this this point when you get the meat this done it would be good to start preparing the baking dish for the sliders because you do have to put the sliders in the oven to melt the cheese on them so here in a minute you will see that I do have a baking dish right beside this skillet well we'll have I forgot there it is <laughs> I put some cooking spray which you can also pick up at the Dollar Tree um, I sliced the um, dinner rolls right in the middle section where they could be perfect little buns um, and then I put them in rows of three here I am showing you I'm slicing them in the middle um, I put them in rows of three I did fit all 12 rows into this cooking dish um, I'm making sure that my meat is not burning um, but I just put them in rows of six 
then when you get done with putting them in the uh, cutting them and putting them in this you do need to put cheese on there and what I done is I got the cheddar cheese that are is sliced and I split it into fours so I had four pieces of cheese per slice of cheese which equaled out that I had just enough cheese to do a double cheese on this so there is going to be cheese on the bottom but also cheese on the top of the meat um, I'm ap applying mayonnaise on it before I put the cheese on it um, because the meal just tastes better when it's kind of melted a little bit so that's why I'm already putting the mayonnaise on it and I did put mayonnaise on both the top and the bottom bun of the bun um, I just like mayonnaise so if you're not a mayonnaise fan you can skip one of those steps and not put but one um, layer of mayonnaise I did do two um, because I like the melted mayonnaise cheese taste so that's why I done that this that way um, I'm showing you the onion dip that I did put in the meat um, so now I'm going to put this sharp cheddar on there um, like I said I did slice this or folded it into fours that way I had four pieces of cheese for the sliders out of one slice of cheese you see how I'm folding it that I got four pieces of cheese out of one slice that way so I recommend if you do make these sliders to do that um, you can use shredded cheese if you want to um, if you are getting it from the Dollar Tree that might be a good option to just use cheddar um, shredded cheese and melt it but I thought this this cheese would be better then when you get all of your cheese on the buns then you start layering the meat on there and make sure that you do have enough meat to go through all of the um, buns because I did get to the end and kind of had to steal meat from the front ones because I didn't have enough meat uh, for the, the last ones um, so do kind of make sure you equal it out and each little bun gets about the same amount of meat um, now I'm going to do a second layer of cheese because I really like cheese now when you put this in the oven which I did not do this step but it is a lot better if you do this step um, you need to put some tin foil over the top um, of your pan I didn't do that um, and you will put this in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the cheese is melted set is in the oven prepare the top half with mayonnaise and pickles if you do not prefer pickles do do some without pickles for those who do not like pickles This is what they'll look like when we're done. And they're so, so good. I will see you in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you like these recipe videos, please do let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Um, so that was my turkey sliders. Um, I hope you like this recipe. I did post the actual recipe 
down below so if you want to try it the actual recipe is down below um, thank you for watching if you've made it this far please do click that like button comment down below and if you're new please do click that red button turn it gray become a kitten today because we always have room for a kitten here be kind to one another enjoy your day don't just endure your day and i love you all very very much bye bye